So what I've done here is I've taken uh, the 7 times 2 times the 500 is the 7,000. And then I've got R over the pi R squared, the rest of it. And the pi's cancel, and one of the R's cancel. So I have 22 pi R squared plus 7,000 over R. Need to take the derivative. This is the same as R to the minus 1. So the derivative of this will be 44 pi R. 2 times this and R to the 1. Minus, minus 1 times 7,000 r to the minus 2, which puts r squared down there. For setting that equal to 0, I can move, if this was equal 0, I can add that to the other side, and so I get 44 pi r equals 7,000 over r squared. Multiply by r squared, both sides, makes r cubed. Divide by 44 pi. And take the cube root. And I get, that's the radius, that's all I need to do, but I can do the 7,000 divided by parenthesis 44 pi, close parenthesis and take that to the 1 divided by 3, 1 third power cube root, and I get R has to be 3.6996, 3.7-ish feet. Because I think this tank was measured in feet, yes. So there's the radius that would minimize the cost. Determine the radius that would minimize the cost, and that's it. And now the last one. Ladder is leaning against the wall. It's 13 feet long. Some person is sliding it away at 4 feet per minute. And we're supposed to find how fast the top is sliding down the wall when this is being pulled. Because if it's pulling it out like this, it's going to slide down. Okay. So this side is changing and this is changing. The 13 is the length of the ladder is not changing. So we can set up a relationship here. Pretty simple x squared plus y squared equals 13 squared. This would be dx dt, since I put x here. And uh, how fast it's going down the wall would be dy dt. And that's what they want us to know. And so we just take the derivative of this with respect to time, and we get 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals, derivative of that is 0. We're supposed to do it when dx dt is 4 feet per minute, When x is, when it is 5 feet from the wall, so x is 5, times the 2 that's there, plus 2 times the y. Well, if this is 5 at that instant, what's y? So, using the same idea again, 5 squared plus something squared is 13 squared. That's 169. 5 squared is 25. 
25 from 169 is 144. So y would be 12. Square root of 144 times dy dt. So to solve for this, that which we wish to know, and this is 12 feet, we would multiply this together, move it over here, and then divide it by 24. 2 times 5 is 10, times 4 is 40, so we get minus 40 divided by 24, and this would be feet per minute. Now that reduces to, let's see, 10 divided by 6, 5 divided by 3, 2 and 2.33, I believe. 40 divided by 24. Oh, 1.66. It got messed up there. 1.66, half of that. 1.67. And that's how fast the ladder's going down. That's y is decreasing in length. And that's why it's minus. y is decreasing, x is increasing.